All right, today we're gonna go with Kelly Gallup's smoke wagon. Uh, this is the fly that eventually got us to um, the Barely Legal. Uh, he started it out with the smoke wagon, then he articulated the smoke wagon, and then we got what we have today with the Barely, which in my opinion is one of the best flies out there. It's a confidence pattern for me. For certain, I put that on, you know, I, I fish that fly when things are really tough for, you know, if I'm fishing new water that I don't really know. Uh, streamer wise that is um, I usually start with a barely just to just to get a feel for things because I've caught so many fish on that fly over the years but this is where it is it originated from so we're gonna go right into the time here on the smoke wagon and I alluded to this before uh, a couple videos back when we did the dink that he was or er, you know, th this fly is used a lot for uh, a trailer. Uh, you can fish it on its own, of course. I mean, it's a great fly by itself. But it's really popular as a trailer pattern, you know, tied behind an articulated streamer. So, we're going to go right into it. The hook we got today, now I'm just tying on a Mustad. Uh, 3X long size 4. Uh, for your hook, I really don't think it's too critical. You can pick pretty much whatever, whatever you want. But a lot of times with the single hooked patterns, I like to use these down eyed mustads. Uh, they're just a cheaper hook and cheap, not in the sense of you know they're going to bust up and fall apart on you. But price wise, I mean they're a lot, they're a lot cheaper than some of the stuff out there. So I just like to use these. Uh, when when you don't need like a specific hook, a ring eye, a, a you know 26 degree bend, whatever it may be, so I use these mustads a decent amount. But enough rambling about the hooks. For the tail, we have just a white stack of marabou, and we're gonna go with the white and olive today. You can do this, uh, you know, juvenile white fish, white and gray. Uh, brown trout, brown and yellow, olive yellow, whatever combination you want to go with. But uh, we got the white right here, and then we're going to go with four strands of flashaboo. Uh, this is just regular silver flashaboo. Four on my side, four on the camera side. We're going to fold these over and bring these right to the back get over here and just about the length of the tail I go a little bit shorter with the flashaboo and then we're just going to take and run this to our halfway point and then go ahead and trim it and we're going to find uh, that's a good front piece there. Uh, let's see, this one will be the back one. So, as always, I like to go more sparse in the tail, and then with my materials, find the bulkier, wispier ones uh, to put up front. So, we're just going to go with this olive. stack of marabou right on top and we're going to make this just a little bit longer than the white I mean we're talking fractions here but I do like it just a little bit longer and then we're going to bring this I got a little short on me there bring this right up to our white and then back to the tail we go. Get out of there. For the body on this, we're going to go with the uh, medium of stas in pearl. We're going to pick this back to where we're just tying in the cotton. 
uh, just these two strands so you don't have extra bulk that you're creating by tying everything in and it's just a little bit more secure too when you do it that way so just pick a little bit of that material off and tie in just the, the two cotton strands and then get one complete wrap and then set this I didn't like how that one set. And then just start working your way to the front. Find just about the halfway point, and I think I'm going to call this good right here because it's not truly going to be the halfway because I'm going to leave just a little bit up in the front there. To where I'm not going to be using the entire thing. I'm going to need a little bit of space to, you know, clean up some some thread wraps and whip finish and all of that. So uh, we're just going to keep that tied in, but we're going to have it off to the side, out of our way. And we're going to go with a stack of white marabou. take this I'll show you the measurement with the white over the y'all white over the olive so you can get a better better idea of what we're looking for you can see the color contrast and everything so about the halfway point back the tail is where you want this to be tied in so just take this one and kind of split your hook there we go and you can see we're right about the halfway point for this stack of marabou. And then we'll take this one just about the entire way up to the front. Leave it a little bit short so we don't go getting too bulky where we're trying to finish off the fly. This thing just does not want to cooperate here. Probably doesn't help that I'm tying upside down and it keeps wanting to split around that hook. There you go. Finally got my stuff together. And clean that up a little bit. Then we're going to come right back to where we tied this material in. a good clean wrap or two make sure our marabou's out of the way and we're going to go with an olive stack on top uh, which one looks that one's a little wispier we'll leave that for the front so we're going to take this one now and same thing we're just going to repeat this up to the front get a nice clean cut on this get your marabou stack halfway back get one wrap in there two a little bit tighter Go ahead and get a third, pull your staz out of the way, and then work this. Same thing, right to where you left off with the white. Leave yourself a little bit of room up front here, because it will wind up getting a little bulky if you take this material all the way to the front. Let's see where that's going to slip back real nice for us. working your stas to the front so you want to get the one complete wrap that looks good on that side give it a quick stretch I didn't like that one there we go 
and then work your way up to the front. Get one more wrap in there. Peel this stuff back a little bit. Just kind of clean that head up slightly. And then we're going to go with our front stacks. Like I said before, these ones are a little bit thicker as you progress forward, a little bit wispier. So, just gives a, uh, it gives a little bit better of a look to the fly. Same thing, we'll measure this out for contrast against the olive. You can see when we have this tied in, it'll wind up being just about halfway back that stack. Flip your vise over. Get your white tied in. There we go. And a couple wild pieces of a staz sitting there, but that'll be all right. Now before I go with the top stack, we're going to tie in some lateral lines here. This is just uh, olive dyed grizzly. We're just going to take these probably, oh I don't know, quarter wave, the quarter point on the tail, quarter to half I would say, probably be pretty good. some loose wraps in there. I know you can't see that one because I'm tying it in on my side, but no. Well, pulled too much with the GSP, cut right through it. Take two. So right on my side. I'll be able to see this better when I start when I go on the opposite side here. I just didn't like how that sat. Kind of folded back toward me and it was sitting off a little bit so I'm a little bit picky when it comes to flies if you guys haven't noticed yet. <laughs> that looks a little better. That looks a little better. Get a couple clean wraps in there, clean that head up a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and measure off this other one against our lateral line here. Again, quarter way point on the tail is about what we're looking at. Quarter to half. And we'll flip this over. wraps in there. There's our lateral line. I'm going to cut this stem. And then the last thing we're going to do is throw this wispy olive stack in the front. Whip finish and we'll be done. So same thing, find your halfway point, and if you can't find a real wispy one, go ahead and double this up. This one's right on the borderline of being thick enough. I'm, I'm going to live with it. I, I would like it to be ideally a little bit thicker, but I think I'm going to live with that one. It's going to work. Get a good clean cut on this. Clean this up with a few thread wraps. And we'll go ahead and whip finish. Finger 
batteries aren't wanting to work today. Got it. We survived it. <laughs> and the last thing that I'll do on this, after I clean this up a little bit more, that looks all right. Cut a couple of those Estaz pieces that were in the way. But the last thing I'm going to do on this, I'm just going to take a little bit, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a tan marker and I'm just going to dull this head down slightly on the top. Just kind of cut down a little bit on it. And there it is. Ladder lines just not wanting to sit how I want it to. But there it is. There's Kelly Gallup's smoke wagon. Like I said, this one's used a lot as a trailer, but obviously you can fish this one by itself and it's gonna catch fish for you. I mean it's just a good overall pattern. Like I said, this is one that brought us barely. But as always, any questions on it, comments, leave them with me and I'll get back to you. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next fly.